Welcome back to Advance Wars 2 Reboot Camp Challenge Campaign. Last time... Yeah, that's all that needs to be said. This time we're moving out to Mission 2 of Challenge Mode. Two wild animals stand with an ocean between them. Their armies are ready, let the hostilities begin. Yeah, this is a more verbose uh, version of the original description, which just said, like, two armies and an ocean between them, let the hostilities begin, if I remember right. So, uh, only four cities on this... Oh, maybe they actually did change this. Interesting, because... Huh. I know that in the original, um, uh, hard mode of Advance Wars 2, this mission was very infamous. The fact that it says there are no bases means they probably did change this one. <laughs> What's a microphone again? What's all the racket, buddy? You lonely or something? <laughs> That's actually a pretty nice line. Huh? Well, would you look at that? A talking dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I do remember in the original, uh, it was actually Gorilla, it was a talking ape. And I think Flack's name was actually Kong in some regions. Some people take him to be a reference to Donkey Kong, but... No, comparing Donkey Kong to Flack, that's a massive insult to Donkey Kong. <laughs> like, not only is he, like, dumb and an early game bandit, but Flack is also just, like, a school bully. Let's do this! <laughs> uh, pick a metaphor, buddy, that's great. So yeah, I'm actually not sure what's going to happen going into this, because this may have changed. I know that the original version of Orange Dawn had uh, a seaport on hard mode. Oh, okay. Right, it is the same one. I guess the- I guess just the map display is wrong then. Okay, that's weird. Maybe they should patch that at some point. Yes. Yes, we need to stay calm and use our heads. Because a brain is the one thing that our opponent doesn't have. Hmm? Roll like your tanks. Speaking of which, it's the return of Max. Max's direct combat units, excluding foot soldiers, gain plus 20 to firepower. His indirect combat units suffer minus 1 to attack range and minus 10 to firepower. Now the funny thing is, I think their firepower uh, penalty has actually been nerfed, and they no longer have worse defense, so Max's indirects got a very small buff. But he got a massive nerf in terms of direct combat, he's gone down from plus 50 to plus 20. Thing is though, Max is still quite solid, he was just totally busted in the first game. But now, uh, his indirects are also somewhat more usable than they used to be. The minus one range is still really bad though, especially on artillery. But on rockets and, on this map, sadly, battleships. Yes, we will be needing to use max battleships here on a deployment map. They're still okay. The thing that makes max still decent though is his powers. Max Force, direct combat units besides foot soldiers gain plus 20, putting them up to plus 40. Still not even Advance Wars 1 Max during his power. Uh, they gain plus 1 to movement range, including transports though, and the plus 10 defense. His superpower, Max Blast, they get plus 40 to firepower, so that puts him up to plus 60, and plus 2 to movement range. That is actually massive. Never underestimate the power of one extra square of movement. Max, despite his massive nerf to direct combat, is still very good in Black Hole Rising, and it's mostly because of his powers. These are some of the best powers in the game, they're kind of a bargain for their 3 block price. But also Max is good in Black Hole Rising for one other thing. Yeah, see this thing right here? We're not supposed to know what this is yet, if you've played the normal campaign you will know. But this laser cannon fires a laser in all cardinal directions every turn, and anything that gets hit by it loses 5 HP. 
Unfortunately, this base is right in the path of it, meaning that if you will want any good units in the middle, we kind of need to destroy this laser. It has 99 HP, and the reason why I said a little while back that medium tanks, uh, it's going to be important to know how damage tables on them work in Black Hole Rising, it's entirely because of these things. This is what we call a map structure. Structures, uh, yeah, I, I basically just have to get two infantry here. So structures have the defense of a medium tank. Oh, I actually kind of prefer, uh, Flax Point in the original here, which is this max dope kind of reminds you of me, except I'm me. <laughs> And yep, yeah, there's the laser, which looks a bit kind of like a, an ear trumpet in this version. <laughs> so now onto this map. This map is basically one long, winding choke point. And uh, to put things in perspective, if it hasn't been changed for Reboot Camp, the uh, S rank limit for turns on this map is like 35. For perfect speed. That's a hundred points of speed, by the way. So they're very, very generous with um with turns. And Flax gonna end up with a lot of units. And the problem is with Max, his bad indirects mean that uh normally you'd use indirects to smash through choke points, but that's harder to do with Max. And you're basically forced to spend a whole ton of funds on a battleship uh with Max and Snap. I think I might eventually try and use Landers to get to his HQ, just for the sake of your sanity, so this doesn't go on for a bajillion years. Uh, hang on, that's not in... Frick, that is in range of the laser. Oh well, I guess you get to be a laser dummy to show off how that works. Uh... Yeah, really right now I think I just need, uh, like, necks and APCs. Just don't have a lot of income at the moment. And yeah, that's going to be reduced to 5 HP, and he's getting APCs of his own. So, essentially this is a battle to reach this central base, uh, though you also kind of need the seaport too. Yeah, a massive problem with this city is that it is in laser range, and the laser fires every turn. You're supposed to be introduced to lasers via a much later, later mission, and in that mission the laser only fires once every two turns. Uh, so you have a little bit more of a grace period there, but yeah, this city is quite hard to get without joining, thanks to, uh, the laser. Pretty much ensures that you get it in a minimum of three turns, which is kind of painful. Okay, he's already getting tanks. And I'm gonna start capturing, but again, I go down to five next turn, so again, it's pretty much a minimum of three. Uh, do I go for the... I don't even need this port just yet. I'd rather go for either the second port or the base. You kind of want to be in a position to join units before you can get that base, because the base is going to be kind of useless until you can destroy that. And the problem is that, yeah, that laser is in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by water on all sides, which means that uh, the only direct combat units that could attack it are air units, and there are no airports in this map. Uh, so... This is, again, it, it, is, it is just, that's the thing with this map. It's not particularly hard, but it is just very long and quite tedious. So I might even be skipping through some of these quotes here. Getting artillery, that's also kind of bad because Max uh, doesn't really deal well with those. I actually remember, like, a long time ago, in, in, in a very old, uh, Advance Wars 1 guide, back when, uh, those, you know, pretty much all Advance Wars 1 guides were wrong. That is kind of a thing that I might be able to talk about here, just, uh, Advance Wars doesn't really have a ton of good information sites out there, I've already kind of gone into that, uh, there, I have since realised there is a pretty decent wiki for it. I just have to keep building these transports, I guess. And, yeah, I don't even need more mechs, just more infantry. This battle won't be joined for quite a while. Oh, I kind of skipped over something there. But yeah, I'm going to actually be keeping most turns on fast forward here, again for the sake of sanity, because this is a very long map that kind of takes a while, and unfortunately, like, it's not really super interesting on hard mode. In fact, I may need to start, uh... Uh, start saving up funds, because I will need a battleship eventually. 
Okay, right now my APCs kind of have to start heading back. Yeah, I sort of need a battleship to hit that. That and that or maybe an artillery. An artillery might work. But yeah, you're pretty much forced to destroy that laser with indirects, which again, Max is not good with, so... Yeah, overall this mission is just kind of a pain in a lot of different ways. So I... I have an income of only 6,000. It's going to take forever for me to save up for a battleship, so I I guess I'm going to just get an artillery right now. I might have to just put away a little bit of money for a rainy day each turn. Not that this infantry getting repaired is going to help matters. And the fact that it reduces it down to 1 HP kind of means that this infantry is just going to be like, it's just slowly watching his comrades get incinerated. Uh, he's going to get that port next turn too. How much money does Flak have right now? Yeah, his income is bigger at the moment because he has a lot more properties that he can take on the way here. I think I'm gonna actually hit start heading towards this base because I do need to join camp for this to make sure that I get it as fast as possible. And if I move you all the way back there, then I'll be able to hop an infantry in you, which is good. Yeah, unfortunately can't quite uh, do a good job of an infantry hop there. Be careful of Flak having indirects across the sea, though, because those can also uh, end up shooting you when you least expect it. Uh, you know what? More artillery. This is really bizarre, but I'm going to go into max artillery here. and uh, I have to put them there. That is the only place that a max artillery will be able to shoot that from, because, yeah, this... That, that laser is a pain. Because, yeah, the real reason you want to get rid of that laser is just to free up that central base. Now, I want to stop force forwarding, because look at this, look at this, look at this. I love how the black hole infantry just wave when they capture something. I never got to see that in the Advance Wars 1 campaign, because I always, uh, yep, speaking of watching out for his artillery, uh, he's built a rocket there. So yeah, because I, I, I had, uh, animation skips turned on back when I fought Stern for the first time. Uh, actually, you know what, let's actually go for that. And I can start heading for that one soon. I do need to start getting in there. I probably want this port too. Anything built out of this port though has to like go all the way around the very corners of this map because... Uh, yeah, that's um, kind of an awkward placement for a port. But it's worth, it's worth income, so... I kind of have to go for it. And yeah, let's just go a little bit further forward there. I almost wonder if I'm going to have to actually just skip forward in my turns, uh, because, yeah, again, this map is just... Thankfully, challenge mode gets a lot better after this. It's just kind of annoying they put a mission like this. Uh, I shouldn't have put my artillery there. Dang it. I have a second one, but still. It is very easy to forget about the laser. So the question is, do I... I think I will actually go for this city. I actually think no matter what happens, I get this in three turns regardless, so... It doesn't really matter when I join. You know, let's not do that. We can instead put you there. I need to start getting you. Also, yeah, since I skipped capture animations uh, in, like, every mission that are capturable seaports in the first game, we never got to see what they look like on the map. It's just, like, this giant anchor. It's just kind of funny looking. They did have like a little crane on them in the original uh, animations. Yeah, see, again, I probably just need to keep pulling my funds because I really need a battleship. I do remember as well, uh, in the original, the lasers did. Uh, there is another type of structure in Black Hole Rising that I do think looks and sounds cooler in the remake, but I do remember in the original. Um, the laser would make this really cool, like, sound, like, when it was, like, firing. I do not like the fact that you can actually attack my mech after the laser shoots it, which is probably gonna kill it. Crap. Because the laser reduces it and I can't join. Yeah, I have to abandon my attempt to get this base this turn. I don't think he can go all the way. No, he can't go all the way to the base. Okay. I could just use some infantry here, but yeah, now we are well and truly in a situation where uh, we might actually start having some clashes occur. Clash in Path of Radiance is a long mission as well. 
do I just do that just to try and block off some of his infantry? You know what? I, uh, well, I've got to watch out for his tank, though. Uh, the tank can't actually reach there. I mean, I could go here, I guess. Yeah, this laser is problematic. Okay, so, I get 9,000 income per turn. So, I can afford to reduce myself down to 19,000. But, like, really? I can't, like, nothing that I build is going to be useful anyway, so I might as well just keep pulling my funds. I don't like the fact that I have no tanks right now, but yeah, day 11. Again, 35 days for the perfect uh, speed score on this map. That is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I thought you'd drop out there. Again, I, I actually was... Uh, okay, once he gets his artillery down there, then we've got serious problems. Because I can put you there and actually damage that infantry a little bit. Although, speaking of artillery, my artillery is almost here. And also, speaking of things that are almost here... Da -da -da -da, Max Battleship! You're kind of forced to do that on this map, which is, a, is, is really irritating, but you are. That goes down to five, and then you attack is the problem. Okay. This may seem weird, but drop you. I need to be ready to join. I'll probably get that base eventually. Uh, and the other really annoying thing is I'm pretty sure that a max battleship doesn't actually kill that in two turns. And I really can't afford to move this APC either. Also, how many units is Flak built? Oh, he's only built 11. Yeah, he doesn't actually have a lot of bases, so the power score is, like, not too worrying here. But, okay then. Speaking of powers, you aren't really going to be seeing many powers in this map, since it's going to be mostly small-scale engagements. Yeah, there's the laser again. So how much HP is my infantry losing right now? Okay, that still survives. Good. Okay, you attack the mech, not the APC. See, again, yeah, I'm pretty sure if this was Advance Wars 1, he would have attacked the APC with that infantry. Oh, what? He's not going for the capturing guy? Huh. I'm totally okay with that. And I distracted his artillery long enough to not get it near my base, which is good. Here's the problem, though. Uh, are his rockets incoming? Yeah, he likes to just build landers on this map as well, so routing this map is pretty difficult. Okay, join right. Okay, that I'm in a better, I'm in a pretty good position to get that base now. Unfortunately, I kind of have to feed him another APC. It's kind of like its advance was one AI, except it's not really. Yeah, let's just chip you away just to make sure you're not a threat to my capturing guy. And we join you, and... Moment of truth. Yep, 49% damage. It's it's just kind of almost insulting, but, um... You know what? I actually wonder if... That's gonna get lowered down to 1 HP, though. Hmm. Oh no, he might actually rush to and kill the artillery if that happens. Cause I just I want to see if like a like because I only need like a tiny bit of chip damage on it after that. If I put like that artillery there, if it was on full health though, I'd pretty much be set. But unfortunately, it is not. Just put you there so I can maybe join with you later. I'm pretty sure the laser like reduces them to like one pixel of health if it gets them down to one HP. So that's uh. Yeah, I kind of have to hope that, like, that plus that, and then the infantry doesn't choose to... I mean, that infantry might actually choose to kill off the artillery. It's just, I want... It's probably not going to work, but if I can finish this off with just one damage, that would be amazing. Because I do think that, uh... <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully, uh, it is going to be pretty for that one artillery, but yeah... I do think that, like, 1 HP artillery still does, like, um, still does, like, 1% base damage there. No, he's moving the infantry first, okay. So maybe he won't kill the artillery, maybe I will get to chip that, chip that thing to death. Which would be hilarious. Because I know, I know that, like, I, I think you actually do, like, 1% damage minimum, because I think, I think, like, infantry do, like, 1% damage to those things. 
So, okay, moment of truth. Well, first moment of truth is I have the base now. That's good. Second moment of truth. Oh, it's even more than 1%. It's 4%. Nice. That 1 HP artillery is going to be a hero because it means I get to destroy that laser one turn earlier than I otherwise would. So nice. Okay, then. I'm going to retreat you just for technique score. And now it just comes time to somehow break through here. But at this point, I do need to start thinking about landers. I'll need those later, but I can get a full health artillery in here. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'd actually rather pound this. Now I'm starting to sound like flack, because, okay. The logic here is that this thing is now less likely to retreat and have the tank, like, first strike me. Yeah, he's barely even close to either of his powers, which is kind of sad. But yeah, now that I have that, I have that. I should probably start saving some funds. Yeah, look, look how insane my funds are right now. Because if I start getting my own tanks and medium tanks, I'll probably need, like, a medium tank and an and, and infantry and, like, a lander to see if I can make a push for his HQ. Because he will build things out of his HQ. Okay, you retreated. Oh, except you shot the mech. Okay, the, the mech was going to die anyway, which is unfortunate, but oh well. At least you didn't kill the 1 HP artillery. So that thing gets to live to fight another- well, live to probably not fight another day, live to live another day. Okay. He might be trying to unload something on one of my ports with that. Let me just check what's in there. Oh, it's a rocket, okay. Well, at least I don't need to worry about the HQ. But yeah, right now... See, the bizarre thing is I almost want to build artillery out of that. But okay then. Max battleship. Oh, uh, let's, let's... Oh no, it will get shot by the artillery if I go there. But yeah, let's have this max uh, battleship go in the center a little bit. Yeah, it can still cover a lot of ground. And I probably do need a lander. Uh, yeah, that's gonna die. And I guess I'll chip away at here. Oh, his artillery is actually in range of mine. That's not great. Oh yeah, well, I completely lost track of the story that I was going to tell about the old weird bad guide. So, the old weird bad guide. So, what that old weird bad guide says is that it used to say that in Advance Wars 1, Max actually had, like, lower defense against enemy indirect attacks. Like, all of his units took more damage from enemy indirects. And honestly, that would be kind of an interesting weakness. It may actually have gone some way to balancing Advance Wars 1, Max. It's so weird that I want to build an artillery here as Max, but, uh... I just, I think I just need a regular tank. Uh, medium tank probably just wouldn't be, have enough movement to really break through. So, okay, got a regular tank there, and my income is now 10,000, which is now less than, which is now more than his. Yeah, he does get things out of his HQ. It is a bit of a march, though, from, uh, the beaches here to the HQ, though, so I will need... I think I'm gonna go for maybe two landers full of stuff. Yeah, I think I'll try that. So yeah, I'm not gonna build anything more this turn. I haven't lost a whole lot, so I'm not too worried about exploding for technique. I actually wonder if he's gonna shoot one of my infantry. But yes, he's gonna shoot one of my infantry with uh, artillery. Maybe I will have to start splurging for um, technique. It's kind of a funny name for that, but yeah. Okay, yeah, that is full health. Again, luck damage does get reduced by terrain, so being on terrain is a good deterrent against flat getting lucky rolls. He is sending a medium tank in, but I do have a max uh, battleship incoming. Again, I've got to be a little careful with the power score, though. How many units has he built? Oh, he's only built 17. Okay, I have this lander. Uh, I probably do still need the tank here, though. So let's hit that. Hit that. Because, yeah, Max's direct units are still pretty powerful, as you can see. Even with only a 20% firepower bonus, it's still very good. And, uh, yeah, I need to hit the medium tank. And that probably put him into brute... Yeah, put him a little bit into brute force. I probably need to start... Like, that artillery is no threat to me anymore, so... I need to start getting a little bit of hits on his uh, infantry right now. And I believe I'm going to go for the medium tank now. Yeah, we'll probably end up unloading the rocket there, but you know what? Wait, no. Uh, misclicked. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no more him unloading a rocket there. 
Uh, gotta be a little careful with my 1 HP RT. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna move the 1 HP RT all the way back just to sort of save it. Lander goes there. I will need another Lander soon. But I have a medium tank now, and this infantry, uh... Uh... You just go in there. Oh yeah, nothing can attack it from there. Now, the question is, is he gonna brute force? He's a little bit... Nah, he's probably not gonna brute force, let me see. Yeah, he's not brute forcing. Oh, and you're going for my infantry. I mean, it means I lose a unit for technique, but I can always splurge for technique later. I don't like the fact that you're a full health tank, but still. And that's the, uh... Oh, just the infantry, right. Yeah. <laughs> APC, black hole APCs make funny noises, I never noticed that before. I hope he's not guarding his HQ, That's that would be a pain if he does. Okay then, what are we up to? Yeah, 17. Like, again, the s rank turn limit is really, really generous here, so you don't need to worry too much about, uh, about, uh, like, you know, about, like, your time. So I'm gonna hit this thing first, because it's, like, one of the only things I can hit in here. And... Uh, that medium tank is a little... Uh, yeah! So, uh, max medium tanks are still very, very good. Like, you see it right here that, fi that a 50% firepower bonus on direct units in Advance Wars 1 or max was probably overkill. Uh, if I was someone besides max, I'd be able to hit the medium tank with this. Because, yeah, they probably... Like, like, indirects are very useful, and they probably did think, oh yeah, indirects are very important units, so it makes sense that a CO who's bad with indirects should have some really big advantage to balance that out, but that's kind of the problem. They gave him a little bit too much of an advantage. Do I get a second lander? Or do I not? I think I need more medium tanks right now. Actually, this lander... No, I need to load a medium tank and a lander eventually, I think. And I will need, like, an infantry, too. I am running low on infantry. How much have I... I've lost 5 out of 18, which is actually pretty bad. I think I'm gonna get some more infantry now. Okay, he can unload the rocket, like, here, but... I mean, it will be able to kill that APC if he does, though. Okay, we'll just see. So, yeah, Flax not doing so hot in the middle right now. It's just a matter of slowly but surely getting through. <laughs> I'll show you tough, huh? Well, actually this tank's probably gonna die. So that was kind of tough. Again, I may need to build some more units for technique. Finally, you got me down to 9 HP. More tanks incoming. Doesn't even have enough for, like, lands. That's the thing, like, his income is quite low, so you need to worry too much about him... Uh, getting a whole bunch of things that could threaten you. Uh, okay. Yeah, you weaken that. He's got 20, so like right now he's in the bare minimum threshold for two kills for good power. And I can kill off this. Probably need three. I think I get rid of you. Okay, I don't have enough for a lander, so... I have two full health medium tanks here to his one tank. Like, normally I'd say I wouldn't... Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go for this anyway. Just because... He could maybe get lucky in his flak, but still. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a, an infantry, because again, there's a little bit of ground to cover before uh, I can reach the HQ, so I'll take an infantry there. And he's definitely gonna drop off his rocket around there, but don't really know if he's gonna do that good of a job down there. You know what, I think I am actually gonna send this lander back. I'm gonna wanna put things in that lander eventually. Okay, I'll have 19,000. I'm not too concerned about power at the moment, uh, it's mostly technique that I'm worried about. Oh, he has his superpower, okay then. I don't think he's- yeah, uh, I think this is actually a new AI behavior in Reboot Camp, because I'm pretty sure the AI never did this originally. Oh, right, with that rocket there. Uh, actually, that is a little bit of a problematic location for that rocket. 
But I mean, now that he has a full power meter... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go for this. My battleship kind of runs the risk of running out of ammo eventually, but... Okay, uh... Lander... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sent that lander back just yet. So I do have an infantry there. I mean, I could block his port just in case, but... Okay, now let's load you up. Let's destroy that. It's kind of cool that you get to see, like, the animation for fighting on ports here. And I have enough for just a tank. But again, yeah, I'm gonna actually double back with this and put stuff in it later. I probably do need a tank. Because what's he got out of his... Ah, it doesn't actually have anything there right now. I don't really know what that rocket's thinking of accomplishing with its life right now, but I'm, I guess I can wait and see. <laughs> what is that rocket going to do? Because, yeah, like, like I was saying, it seems like there's a new behavior in Reboot Camp where the AI will only use its power if it knows that it will be able to get, like, some mileage out of it, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that in Black, the original Black Hole Rising, if the AI had a full power meter, it would always use its power at the start of the next turn. Uh, and if it was somebody who does global map damage, like Drake, he would use it in the middle of his turn if he could. And if it was somebody like Eagle, he would always, well, um, not somebody like, if it was literally Eagle, nobody other than Eagle, uh, he would be the one who would use it like that. But if it was literally Eagle, then he would use, um, uh, it at the end of his turn. Uh, I have Max Blast. Hmm. So you have a medium tank in you. And again, the rocket actually did move forward. I mean, you can attack my infantry now, I guess, but not if I do this. I kind of do need another infantry from here. It'd be funny if I, like, loaded up the artillery in there. But I think just a tank and an artillery will be enough for me to take this upper area. I mean, maybe a 7 HP infantry going into this transport is going to be alright. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I was thinking of, like, if there was a, a more fuel-efficient way that I could move, but I don't think there really is. Like, I'll be spending the same amount of fuel to get there either way, because it's, you know, determined based on the number of spaces. Okay, flacky boy. <laughs> Flack has some kind of weird grudge against the equator. It's replaced the AI's grudge against APCs. Okay, he's got some stuff incoming. Oh, we got a medium tank out of his HQ. I didn't want him to do that. And now his rocket just ran backwards. <laughs> can I, like... Yeah, I can just keep running within your minimum range until I can just start shooting you. Which is kind of silly. I've described a lot of things as kind of silly so far. Uh, let's get you in... You in. Uh, hmm. Let's not do that just yet. I want to. How much ammo does my battleship have? It's probably quite low right now. Uh, it's still. Oh, it's still up three shots because they have nine ammo, which is a little overkill for a battleship, honestly. Uh. Yeah, let's put you on that bridge. Put you there. Guess I can capture the city to reduce his income even more. Or I can get his port. That'd be funny. Again. Watch out for enemy indirects on your approach, but I, mean, I could unload the minion tank there if I really wanted to troll him. That would be kind of hilarious, but... Uh, I do need to wait a little bit. I want to wait for that medium tank to get out of his HQ, so maybe I should actually unload the medium tank here now. Again, you have plenty of time on this map. Like, patience is absolutely a virtue here. So you're gonna get going, and I can get- I don't think I'll need another lander though. Could get another medium tank, but I honestly, I think I just need regular tanks uh, at this point. Can that rocket shoot anything right now? I don't think it can. Because like, if I have a horde of infantry up here, I can move my landers here and they can just hop infantry over, uh, over the water. Is he going to do it now? 
Nope. Yeah, he really doesn't want to use his power yet. <laughs> yeah, I think 7-5 is a bad luck roll from Flack, but yeah. I do wish there was some kind of visual indicator on when you got a bad luck roll. Uh, I can't actually reach that rocket unless I use my power, which would be a bit of a dumb way to use my power, honestly. Yeah, you go there. Let's start getting this city. I worried for a moment that, uh, that uh, one of these cities had, had a secret in it, but no, that's the next map. I guess, technically speaking, you can just go over here. Probably didn't even need to wait for infantry to board these transports, because infantry could have come from here, but... Oh well, more infantry is always a good thing. How many units have I... 27 and lost 6. And he's still in the threshold where 3 kills in one turn is perfect power. He doesn't even have any tanks up there, wow. I can I can technically push forward the, uh, the choke point, which I didn't think I'd ever be able to do. Gotta watch out for the rocket though, and also gotta watch out for ah, here we go. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a thing. Uh, barbaric blow could potentially sink the lander if I put it there though. Is the problem? <laughs> is this actually worth it? If I use max force or max blast here, I can actually move one extra space and get out of range of the artillery and the rockets with my lander. That would be a really weird way to use that power, but uh, I think I'm gonna hold off. So I think I'll just put you there. And I have another 20,000. Like, I may even be able to start getting, like, more battleships out of there if I really wanted to. That would be really, really insane. Okay, are you gonna use Barbaric Blow this time? Nope! I don't even know what that lander is trying to do. Okay, right. Unfortunately, those beaches are covered by the medium tank and by that mech, so I can't really afford to unload just yet. But again, patience is very much a virtue. We've still got two ammo, because wow. And I, I don't even need to care about damaging his stuff, because uh, he's got a full power meter. <laughs> yeah, again, like this mission is not particularly hard, it's just very long and a little bit tedious. Ah, I can get a fresh tank in there, uh, although the mech would hit it if I did that, so... Uh, I'm gonna put the fresh tank here. And get the medium tank kind of there. And now those artillery are moving, I think I can safely afford to have you move through here. I love the way that Black Hole uh, land is lit, by the way, with those, like, propellers on them. How much money does he have, though? Yeah, is that available and that? That's not enough for another medium tank, so I think I'm good. I'm just worried that he'll get another medium tank out of his base, but we'll see. Yeah, just a little more, and this medium tank will probably stupidly charge forward. Again, if I was him, I'd leave it to defend the base, but... If I was him, I would be, uh... Yeah. That would be a horrible fate to wish upon myself. <laughs> Yep, he's still not doing it! <laughs> okay, although I am a li Okay, yeah, he just made a regular tank. And the rocket went back. Okay, then. And he has a regular tank there. I mean, he could try and go for Barbaric Blow, but... Okay, he probably will have enough for a medium tank soon, though, so I actually need to drop off one of mine. Can't quite drop off another of mine just yet. One more ammo left. This, like, a max battleship firing all nine of its shots. <laughs> that is something you really don't see every day. He does have a medium tank incoming, though. And he has artillery in range of this one. So I kind of have to take the bite out of this mech first. Maybe he will actually go for Barbaric Blow this one. Also, this is funny. Doesn't really do anything, but still. It'd be kind of funny if he built a battleship. Ah, uh, nah, he's never going to have enough for a battleship, so yeah, that's pretty much fine. Uh, can't quite unload just yet. Ah, you are in range of my APC. Good to know. I need to move that APC away. And 
Okay, the beach is still fine, but the space there is not fine. So... Yeah, if I am to unload the medium tank, it has to be there. Not really sure why I'm unloading the medium tank, but as I've said a few times before, there's not really much reason not to, uh... Like, really, there's no reason to end your turn in the transport, unless you can be attacked that turn. I legitimately have no idea what to spend my money on right now. Hmm. I still don't have enough, enough for a battleship if I go for that next turn, so I'll just get another, like, regular tank. In fact, maybe I should be getting some tanks from here so I can ferry them across, because now that I have landers up here, I can basically just put things on his shore, like, all the time. In fact, I'm just going to get a tank here just to demonstrate that. So again, is he going to barbaric blow? He might. No, that's just his generic uh, losing quote. He's not. Huh. If I was him, I would have gone for it just on the off chance that like this would have one-shotted this tank, and that his tank could do good damage to my lander or um, medium tank. Okay, he's just getting regular tanks out of there, but right now... Hmm... Oh, it feels like a waste of Max Blast just to try and make sure that, that thing dies, but... Oh, I actually shouldn't have unloaded that medium tank. Although, actually, maybe... Yeah, because cause here's, my, here's my plan. No matter what happens, I can only get one unit on that shore. This would be a really weird way to use Max Blast, but... Also, you're out of ammo, so you have to go back and get resupplied. Thankfully, resupplying a battleship doesn't cost anything. I almost wonder whether I... Because Max... Uh, actually, if I had more things in this area, I might actually need Max Blast later. I'm just trying to think when I use Max Blast. So you go back... Yeah, Max Blast can kill that, potentially. And that thing's close to my shore, and then... Again... This is a very weird way to use Max Blast. <laughs> roll, tanks, roll! <laughs> just, that, just, that, that sounds really cool. But okay then, the reason why I did that is because now, yes, I one-shot those tanks. So yeah, my firepower is now up to that much. And by one-shotting these tanks, I can secure a bit of a beachhead a lot better. Because now I can get my second medium tank onto the shoreline. So let's go... Bunk. And if he tries to attack any of them, they get fired back on really, really hard. That thing's empty, so I can go tank infantry. Also, yeah, this is not going to be doing any more damage, because powers in Advance Wars 2 only raise defense, not firepower. And I can start capturing this. Also, look how far my tanks can go. <laughs> Plus two movement is, is pretty insane. Yeah, but still only 79% base damage on an enemy medium tank, with a max tank during max blast. In fact, okay, I haven't actually fully mentioned like like what uh like why I consider Max to be so good in Advance Wars 2's campaign. I said that it was because of um I said that it was because of uh like structures, map structures like that laser. So here's the thing. During Max Blast, uh, you do insane damage to structures, but also Max's bombers and one other unit that we haven't seen yet, even without powers in effect, they one-shot structures. And there are some maps in Advance Wars 2 that end immediately Fight. Fight. after Fight. a certain structure is uh, done. So just like Sammy, Max could potentially end maps instantly. Okay, now he's going for the bar Barbaric Blow. So he might end up fishing for luck rolls on... Oh, that was definitely a bad roll. 
Oh, I shouldn't have put the infantry there. But yeah, HP affects luck damage, as I've said, so that would have been able to get a good luck roll anyway. He's going for the slot machine here. What's he going to roll? Okay, that was probably a moderately okay luck roll, but yeah, because I have max blast, I'm hitting back with plus 60% firepower. So, these tanks are going to crumble a little bit. Oh yeah, that was a much better luck roll. So yeah, there, there you can see the effects of Max Blast. And yeah, he's going to fish for a good luck roll here. This could potentially die if he gets really lucky. It did. Okay. And... Don't get lucky here, please. Oh yeah, he got unlucky. Yeah, that's great. Can't even afford a medium tank out of his base, but... Uh, that actually hurt my medium tanks a lot more than I thought it would. But I'm breaking through here a lot faster than I thought I would, too. Okay, 30 units. But I've definitely killed three in one turn. Let's just damage that a little bit. He does have that 10% defense in effect. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Take that out. It's going to be a little bit of a fight on the shoreline for a bit, but... Hopefully, I eventually break through. In fact, I can probably start... Can't quite get one yet, but getting medium tanks from my main base. Also, my battleship is back to full ammo. So, once again, a max battleship can actually contribute to stuff right now. Uh, no, I don't think I... Oh, uh, I can chase it down with a... Yeah, see, this does more. So, yeah, let's hit you with that. Let's chase with the regular tank. This should finish you. Flak does still have the luck when his counterattacks when his power is active, but it's not, it's still not, you know, uh, gonna be that amazing. Because, you know, it's Flak. Again, I kind of save up for a medium tank out of my main base next turn. Incoming 12,000. I wonder if I can get one tank that... Oh, uh, no, I'll just get infantry. And let's move you away so that this thing doesn't kill the infantry. I don't really like that he has a full health mech and a 7 HP tank on my tank that's up there, but we'll see, because as long as the medium tank stays healthy... Beep. <laughs> it's always funny when, like, 2 HP artillery take him. No, he's attacking my lander for some reason! Okay! Oh, well, that does mean that the full health tank gets to attack you, which is not great, and that means that the mech will probably finish you off. It does mean that my medium tank is fine right now. Okay. Huh. That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, it may take a while before I get his HQ still. But okay, you can jump one forward. No, actually, wait, no, you can't jump one forward. Instead, you'll hit this. Because, yeah, now I need... the other tank to go up here. And now... I can get a medium tank. But I'm actually getting close to breaking all the way through with uh, these guys. Because now these people are sandwiched. And, uh, this can only shoot this because you're basically a fire emblem archer that can't move and fire. That goes down. Uh, I can keep hitting you, I guess. I don't really care about that mech right now. Just sort of want to get more medium tanks in on there. I advanced a lot further into his territory than I expected I ever would. Uh, at least in the north. So that's kind of nice. Kind of wish I was Andy right now, that way this tank might return to the fray later. Speaking of tanks, I can get another tank here. And you... I mean, weirdly, I kind of want to keep you there. Although, I can... Because mm. I don't want more things to get on that beach. If something gets on that beach, that's a problem, but... I could potentially send a medium tank over next turn if I... Uh, everything here has low HP. You know what? I'm gonna actually do this. And get another tank. Okay, then. Let's look at all those mechs. 
Black hole mechs always look pretty good, even the original, but they look still look pretty good now. Okay, you're gonna fire on me? Not great. Flak actually does kind of benefit from the fact that the themes are sort of, um, uh, pick up where they left off, because originally you almost never got to hear, like, the full loop of Flak's theme, because he was only fought pretty early on, where his turns didn't last very long. Artillery, huh? Yeah, he does have a heck of a lot of... Hmm. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel like I have enough in range, see now I'm, I'm acting like the AI. Well, I can finally kill this, even though it is just going to give Flak a little bit more power. Because that's done. And now, I can get that in. And get the medium tank kind of in. Don't want to clog that. Oh, actually, wait. If I do this, I'm not able to unload multiple units. Uh, but, oh well. Uh... How far can you reach? Yeah, let's just chip away at these mechs because they can trade pretty cost effectively with my tanks, so I don't really want to get want them to get too many first strikes on my own tanks. In fact, I'm actually I think I'm actually just gonna go back here and join that. But now I can go medium tank. You can go back and I can get another medium tank up here. And now yeah, eventually I'll start unloading the infantry. Day 28, okay, but I do have to remember that, like, I do need to eventually get the HQ. I cannot believe that I'm doing this. Send this battleship forward. Yes, I've got, like, a max battleship that I'm... <laughs> that's an active part of my strategy, because this is really insane. And I'll get another tank. Okay, 34 units. Okay, he might use Brute Force. What I do best. Yeah, this is generally the threshold for which the AI will use their normal power. When they have just barely into their bigger uh, power circles. There were stars in the original game. I like calling them stars, so if I call them stars in this version, that that's why. Is this like the only engagement he's taking with Brute Force this turn? It might be. Yep. <laughs> okay. Again, I kind of want to save Max Force. But okay, okay, okay. Now, I absolutely know for sure that I can have both of these beaches open. So those things go... Don't like the fact that he has an artillery in there though, but now this can explode this tank. Yeah, I do want to get a good hit off on... Oh, I have a full health medium tank here. Which I think will attack that mech, just so that, um... The artillery won't be able to get it. And there's a lot of mechs. Like, mechs can be quite good defensive units for your HQ in a pinch, because, you know, when they don't need to advance very far to, uh, hit things... Okay, that's just a regular tank, that's not a medium tank. I can only unload two things from the shoals per turn, though. Regardless of which shoal I unload from. And now, finally, I can start getting infantry in, and also I can start doing this, because this is ridiculous. Oh, that was the 7 HP infantry, though. Of course it would be the 7 HP infantry that gets unloaded first. So I think I actually need to go for double infantry from this next one. I think I will- like, I'm worried about the artillery killing this medium tank, but I think I will actually finish off that mech there. And yeah, my next max blast is gonna be a pretty big one. Oh hey, I can get another medium tank. Oh, this thing's almost out of fuel, wow. That was unexpected. Yeah, on a, on a long, long map like this, you are liable to run out of fuel on some of your units. So, okay then. 29 days. It's kind of weird that I kind of wish I had an APC up here so I could get the infantry to the HQ faster. This is why I'm using infantry here and not mechs. Speaking of mechs, yeah, that's a little annoying. Again, these are very good HQ guards in a pinch because they can just, uh... Pop forward and take out tanks like that. 
I am pretty close to Next Blast, and I can... Yeah, I may as well shoot this artillery a little bit. Since he used Brute Force earlier, uh, it's going to take him even longer to get another power. Yes, that does completely destroy you. Good to know. Because now my uh, medium tanks are starting to break through. Maybe I go with this one with, the, with my full HP tank. Okay, I have Max Blast now, but that'll be for next turn. This will be a fairly traditional Max Blast. So now I can start putting those infantry down. That thing can hop in the land in next turn, and I'll get another medium tank up there. And you're completely out of fuel. With that artillery damage, he doesn't have a whole lot that can threaten my full health medium tank, so I'm feeling a little confident here. Okay, you went for the full health tank. That's a decent matchup on Flak's behalf, but... Okay, you get to attack as well. Is this gonna... No, it won't die yet. Yeah, it's fine. And his mechs are getting a little uh, ragged now. And he only has 6,000 funds, so yeah, he can really only afford like more mechs and stuff. Day 31. Again, I kind of want to do this before 35, but it's time for another Max Blast! Give up. A rare mission where you get to use this twice. Ah, Max Blast. <laughs> pan over to the 1 HP tank. But okay then. Uh, yeah, I guess you can finish off the artillery. And this can finish you. Because now I have, um, uh, the full health medium tank. Which one-shots mechs even when they're on cities, but... I mean, honestly, I, I kind of rather kill this. I think you need to take this thing down. So that I get full movement out of my infantry this turn. Okay. I would probably rather join those, so, I mean, it may still die, but we'll see. And, uh, drop infantry, drop medium tank. get more, and more medium tanks. Yeah, once the landers are at the shore near your base, you've pretty much got his on the ropes. <laughs> yes, that certainly wasn't very nice, but you haven't been very nice to us. I don't like you going on the HQ, though. <laughs> He's got brute force again. Yeah, get ready to see that a lot when you're dealing with somebody who's this on the ropes. I can take out the one on the HQ later. I think for now I'm actually going to focus down this one. Because this is going to at least let me block one of his bases. And yep, I can start capturing that. Start capturing this, even though it's probably not going to make a ton of difference. I've lost 12. Okay, I feel really bad for this infantry, but if I leave it here, there's a chance this guy will get distracted and attack from the base, and this will mean that he doesn't get to build any more units at all. Meanwhile, Max Battleship Strats! <laughs> They're actually happening. Well, I mean, they happened quite a lot against Drake in the first game, but still... Is he going to use Brute Force? Stay out of my yes, he is! <laughs> Brute force. I do like the, the, like, word art on that. To use, like, a really old <laughs> computing term. Yeah, you're gambling here. 
Oh, he got a good he got good luck there, but I have a fresh medium tank incoming. Okay, he did an attack from the base, but I didn't die. So that infantry actually did a lot better than I expected it to. And he got a tank. But I will probably start the HQ capture this turn. Does have the 10% defense from the power, but right. I mean that is that potentially a kill? I don't know if I should take my chances. It's probably better if I use um uh if I retreat you attack with you from below. I'm trying to see if I can potentially block my capturing infantry off. Because if you go there, take that out, infantry starts capturing. And I think I can still block, because I damaged this tank. And, yeah, and my infantry here blocks to the south. I actually have one of his bases to add insult to injury. And with this, I'm, yeah, pretty much guaranteed to have the HQ next turn. But okay then, next turn this should be over. Day 33, and again, this is, like, ridiculously, this is still going to be 100 speed. Which is, like, e e unless they changed it from the original, this will be 100 speed, which is just kind of insane. But, uh, there is a mission where the perfect speed requirement is, uh, 37 turns. Uh, by the way, both this mission and that other mission <laughs> have a higher perfect speed requirement than the final mission! Ugh, just, I... Yeah, I believe this, this mission was on Who Is This Git's Worst Levels Ever list. And I am very inclined to agree here. It's just not a... It's just, like, it's kind of okay, but, like, it's just a very, very slow, slow, tedious mission. And, uh, I'll be glad to have this done. Again, hard mode is usually not like this. Um, most of the, most of the rest of the missions are gonna be a lot better than this, trust me. Uh, but... And, and it just kind of sucks they have to throw this at you so early, too. Oh, uh, not only can I do this, but I can also build a medium tank out of his own base just because lol. And, uh, I'm really not concerned about my technique, but, uh, just in case. He did build 41, so as long as I got four kills in a turn, I would get perfect- Okay, I'm, I'm somewhat worried about power, actually, but- Oh, please tell me I got perfect power. I really don't want to have to do this again. This took over an hour. I'm glad they just, they voiced that one. <laughs> yeah, actually the next time they meet it's going to be the final mission of Orange Star, because things get a little different in hard mode from now on. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish this one was voiced too. Yeah, that pretty much sums them up. Rude. And hopefully we don't have to deal with this again because of power. Come on, power, be good. Black? Was it? Dumb name for such a tough CO. I, I know in the original, I think thanks to space limitations, Max's victory line was just dumb name, tough CO. So I'm glad they got to expand on them in the remake. But yeah, that was a per I'm so glad I got a perfect score on that one. I never want to play that again. That is a uh, that's uh, kind of a bit of a tedious map in hard mode, but it's done at least. It's done. And I will see you next time for Andy's first true mission of the advanced, uh, not advanced, of the challenge campaign. See you all then for what's supposed to be your introduction to destroyable structures. <laughs>